Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Shannon here and if you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. Today we have got kind of a fun video. So I'm going to do a pregnancy lookbook slash styling tips. Because if you didn't know, I am currently very, very pregnant. I am now 30 weeks pregnant, which means I'm, am I in my seventh month of my eighth month? But anyway, I don't have long left, so I am looking like a house, which is fun. I am basically all bump. Um, you can probably not tell I'm pregnant from like this way up, but I am very pregnant. You will see in this video, I am big. <laughs> but yeah, I've only got um, two months, less than two months now. Um, and I know that my mum went when she was 34 weeks. So I'm like still pre I'm preparing to go early in case I do. Um, but today we're going to do a very pregnant lookbook um, slash some tips that might help you girlies out that are either currently pregnant, will be pregnant in the future, or I don't know, you just fancy watching a video on looking like a hot mama. Anyway, let's get on to the video. Okay, so my first tip for you guys is dresses are your best friend. Um, especially if you're all bump like me and you kind of have a hard time fitting into some maternity stuff, doesn't really look that flattering. Um, none of my clothes has been maternity. I've only bought one pair of maternity leggings and that's it. Everything else has been still my size and stuff that I can re-wear. I find maternity stuff, sometimes it's quite expensive and then sometimes I just find it's a waste whenever you can't like... Like I'm, I can still wear this dress after I have the baby and it'll still look flattering and very cute. Um, so flowy dresses like this one, especially ones that come in just under the boob because they sit over the bump, very cute and very nice. And they're also very comfortable to wear, especially wearing the bump, sometimes it can be very uncomfortable. So they're very cute, very sweet. So dresses are your best friend, whether it's flowy ones like this or even trying out some of the tighter ones, the more bodycon, like these ones here. Um, these ones are very good too. Again, they're very stretchy, so they'll sit over the bump, and you'll be able to wear these after your pregnancy as well. So if you have a wee look, just so cute. And then another good tip, especially in the winter time, um, where dresses may not be the most warmest thing, what I love to do is throw a jumper over the dress. So I'm going to grab this wee jumper here. And so if you get the jumper and you throw it over the dress, like so, so I'm just gonna wing this over. And this is a polo neck, so I have to try and not get my maid. Is, it, is everyone else like this, where you like try and not get your makeup messed up, putting the jumpers on? There we go. There we are. So I'm gonna put that over, fix the collar, and then I'm gonna grab this and just tie, ooh. Oh my god, that just snapped on me. And what you can do is you could even put a crop top underneath like this and then tie this over, like tuck this into the crop top. Or you could take a hair tie. Hair ties are your best friend, by the way. They will be a lifesaver in making clothes fit around your bump. And then you're just gonna tuck that in. And there you go, another cute outfit. Um, just over the dress and sits just nicely over the bum. I do prefer doing this one. If you've got a quite a thick jumper, it is cuter to do it with a crop top rather than a hair tie. Um, but yeah, 
there's a cute outfit for the winter sits over the bump nicely and you could just wear that with a pair of boots a pair of tights even add in a little necklace just to give it a little bit more detail but i love this um it just looks so cute and again still very comfortable still a lot of giving it a lot more room so on to the next outfit tip so if you have some dresses that still feel comfortable and look quite nice but they're too summery and they're maybe bulging out from the top, I don't know about you guys, but my boobs grew so much during pregnancy and they're even bigger now and the dress still is comfortable, still is cute but it just doesn't fit at the top layer at all. Again, jumper over the dress. This time I'm using a bit more casual of a jumper. And we're gonna wing this on over the dress. There we go. Very cute. But again, we're gonna take this, but instead of, and take our go-go, or her bowel, I call it go-go, it's an Irish thing, I think. And instead of we're gonna actually keep this knot here and give this a cute little knot detail. And then there you go, you have this lovely, cute little casual outfit. Um, that's very comfortable, very sweet, and very nice and warm enough for the winter. Like this one's more springy winter style, but this is quite cute. And the way the knot just sits on top there, with the bump, it is very flattering, and you just look like a mama to be. And on to my next look. One thing, guys, you can always still do, um, to maybe if you want to glam up a little bit, if you want to look a little bit, if you're going somewhere, going out to dinner. I know no one's going out to dinner right now with the global pandemic. Probably the best time to be pregnant because you don't feel like you're missing out. One thing you can do is add belts. So what you do is you set the belt just over the bump. So it flatters the bump but doesn't it, you know, feel uncomfortable because it's just above the belt, the bump. So if you just, um, to be honest guys, I do keep this on like the last one. I don't keep this very tight, just so it's still comfortable. And yeah, that's the wee belt. It gives it a little bit of a nicer look. Cute, you could wear this with any dress, different colors, everything. Even still, remember, you can still accessorize, add a little headband, stuff like that. And how cute is that? You are a fancy mama. I am ready to be a hot mama. Yes, I am. Boop, boop. Um, so this you can pretty much do your entire pregnancy. I got away with wearing belts for quite a long time in my pregnancy because it didn't show until I was around probably five months where I was actually showing. And it just flatters the bump so nicely. It sits up there quite nicely and not too tight, not too constricting. And it's just really cute. So yeah. Hey guys, so my next tip is leggings, high-waisted leggings. You will wear these to death, get every color. And you can also still wear these after the baby. They will still fit perfectly because they stretch. They are super comfortable. You can wear them with pretty much anything. If you want a wee crop top or anything, I've just got a wee tee with this, a wee normal t-shirt. And then sometimes if your t-shirt hangs a bit funny here, all you have to do is grab your trusty hair bobble, give it a tie there, and just kind of tie a little bit of that up and tuck it in, and it just brings it in the back a bit nicer and shapes around the belly, very cute. And then a very cute add-on is a cardigan. Cardigans will fit you through the whole pregnancy and they'll keep you warm and be very comfortable. And also it just looks, gives it a bit more of a cute look to that um, plain outfit. So if you can see, just a little cardigan. So whether you tie the cardigan up around 
or you leave it open. If you leave it open, it will still fit you through the whole pregnancy. It'll just give you a little bit more of a look. So that is my tip. Leggings. Love your leggings. Just buy every colour. I have literally got white and I've got black. I've got lots. Of, I need to get a few more black pairs. But high waisted. Make sure you buy high waisted because if you get low waisted leggings, they don't really sit on the bump. They constrict. So you want to go for a more high waisted and you'll get so much wear out of them and they'll be so comfortable and you can thank me later. Another tip guys is how to still wear your old jeans and I'm going to show you how to do that. First off you're going to put on an old pair of your jeans and then we're going to scroll this camera right down because we need to be able to see where my jean holes is. Sorry. No one wants to hear jean holes. Anyway, so we're going to scroll this right down. We're going to get a hair tie again. We're going to loop the hair tie into the button. Then we're going to tie it through the little hole that the button normally goes in. And we're going to tug it. And we're going to wrap it right round and put it round the button. And this will hold your jeans on. Still give you a nice looking booty if I stay myself. Then I'm gonna pull my top over. And then this top over too. And there we go. So I'm gonna just give you a more full length view of this one boys and girls. So you can see the jeans still look cute. I've just got a little um, loose top on over and you can't even tell that they are open and they do not fall down at all. I could do a boogie, I could do a shimmy shimmy shake and they are banging the place but they are staying up like nobody's business. So there you go guys, that's how you wear your old jeans while you're pregnant. <laughs> Hi guys, so that is all that I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you find it very helpful if you are pregnant and looking for some tips and tricks to what outfits you can wear and what can look good. I hope you find it quite enjoyable and if you did enjoy my video, I love it if you gave me a little subscribe and a little like on this video. It really, really helps me out. Um, I absolutely love making YouTube videos and I will be back again very soon. So I will see you guys hopefully in my next video. Love you all. Bye.